So Michael, so the, these globalist monopolists, in fact, they already captured the WHO. And now through WHO, they want to establish a new imperial era. So see, the look, the developing countries have been under the rule of imperial uh, state like uh, UK. And so now these new uh, monopolists want to capture again the sovereign government. So as you you written in your article that the sovereign is he who decides the uh, who decides if you if you define the same the state who decides of, the state of exception 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 the yes case. yes the exception yes right so the where will be the sovereignty of the state when when this uh, uh, international health regulation will be signed by the member states which is legally binding in which uh, WHO Director General will have the capacity to enforce any kind of uh, uh, their wish that this is the uh, outbreak of uh, uh, international concern. They can say that uh, this epidemic uh, looks like uh, uh, it is the uh, national concern, the local concern, then it will become the international concern. So any, any, anything can, can, uh, they can do and they have already done it in the past during the, during COVID period, they have done it. They have tested it. Yes. So can you imagine that even the vaccine manufacturer? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You want to say something? Yeah. No, well, I'm going with you. Okay. You asked me a question. What, what is state sovereignty then if, if this is the case? All right. Right. Um, and it's it's a subtle question, but I can approach it from two sides. Give me just a second. From one, we formed these organizations not to become a global government, okay? Right. But a facility for coordinating action, okay, at the national level by the sovereigns, okay? Now, the mistake was made and this is something I think public health experts are particularly prone to, but it's very dangerous to democracy and it's very dangerous to good governance. And, and that is to say, no, this is a technical decision, uh, a decision yes. that can only be left in the hands of experts. All right. But what you know from political experience in all time, okay, is that for whatever reason, that you create a dictator and, and there were dic the position of dictator existed in Rome. It existed in most legal systems. And that's where this objective statement is. Whoever is sovereign is the person who decides the exception. Okay. Right. Right. Normal rules. So this is what they did. And, and yeah. this, <clears throat> this completely goes against the understanding of what international relations and international organizations are for. And that is not to create a sovereign above the members, but to create institutions that facilitate the active decision making of the member states. Okay. I know of no other case. Look at the Security Council of the UN. We don't let the Secretary General decide whether there should be war. Okay. Yes. Okay. There are many deficiencies in the institutional arrangements of that. Uh, uh, they don't care the uh, member states' uh, feeling or no, their uh, opinion. No. no, so they wanted to, uh, and, and you can see then this plays into the narrative, this plays into the capture, um, this plays into their desire even now to, to add to the H IHRs, and it's in the new IHRs, training for all countries on how to control misinformation and disinformation. What is misinformation? It's not information that's wrong. It's information that's inconvenient, all right? It's, it's what they argue is that, uh, listen, we're fighting this great virus. We can't have these arguments now. We can have them later, but we, no, we never have them then. Um, and, and, and they should have listened. They should have take, taken a deep breath and said, okay, what are we really facing here? गन्ने की कड़ी बुनियाद जिसे मराठी में खुड़किया और कुछ उत्तर भारत के क्षेत्रों में खुटकी भी कहा जाता है
उसे केवल भोलानाथ का टू इन वन बैटरी ऑपरेटेड हार्वेस्टर कम ब्रश कटर आसानी से और बिना रुकावट के काट सकता है